Okay, today we're going to do a spreadsheet and your manager has asked you to manipulate the spreadsheet about some holiday bookings. Let me just check the volumes app. Yeah, it looks like it's app. Minimize this. Use a suitable software package, load the file jxp.csv. It's a CSV file. We know it's a text file. I've been telling you that day in and day out. The CSV file is a text file. Okay. So, how do we do it? We go to file, new, okay, open it up, there we go, data, text, from text, okay, it's on your desktop, in your folder, we go and look at it, and I put it in a new folder, and I'll just put it in a new folder, okay, there it is, and what was it, what the fuck? What's the one we're supposed to get in? JX sheet. Okay, JX sheet. Can you see JX sheet? There it is. Okay, import. Delimited. Next. Comma. Next. Must be day, month, year. And it's finished. There you go, okay. And there's a. Uh, Spreadsheet is imported, okay, I'm going to make it a bit smaller, so I can see what they're telling me to do, over there, put my spreadsheet over there, make it a bit bigger, okay, special name, canon number, center number in the footer, okay, so you go to insert, go to header and footer, go to footer, can you see that I went there, go to footer, there's a Put your name, they didn't tell you where, so you can go Joe P. The age zero one nine and one two three four five six. Okay, so that's it. So in the design view, go back to the home view, and if you click on view here, you want normal page. Okay, click out of your footer. And then click on normal page, okay? And then you've got normal page. Okay, so let's go back to the top. What do I want? In the destination column, where's the destination column? There it is. Use the lookup function to show the destination name. Okay, so it's quite easy. Use the code column for the lookup value. They're telling you what to use. Use the code column lookup. And the file jxdesk.csv which means we're going to get another CSV file into here. Okay, so we go down to the bottom. Can you see there's sheet one? Sheet one. Go rename and call it JX sheet. JX sheet. Okay. And sheet two, we're going to rename it. We're going to call it JX desk because we're going to import JX desk into here. Okay. So how do we do that? We go to data, get external data, from text, JX desk, there it is, import, delimited, next, must have comma because it's a CSV file, next, check the date, it must be date month here, and you go finish. No, it doesn't appear there. It must appear in A1, you click in A1, and you see that move to A1. And you go okay. And there it is. So what did they say? Look use the lookup function. So we go equals, we go to FX, click on type in V lookup here, press go, it'll appear here, and then you go okay, okay. So there, what's the lookup value? They tell you here, look here. In the destination comma, use the lookup function to show the destination name. Use the code column for the lookup value. Where's the code column? Use the code column for the lookup value. What's the table array? They tell you. And the file JX desk for the array. There's a table array. We know it's this file here. And that's your table array there. 
They want the destination country to appear. What the column index number is two. What do you put in there? This time they want false. Okay, put in false and we go okay. And there it is. Can you see that? We pull it down. That's a lookup. Actually tell you what to do. In cell two, use a function to count the number of trips to the to the destination. In where? Cell C2, count the number of trips. In cell two, using to count the number where the value of the decode column matches the contents of cell B2. Okay. This function must include both both absolute and relative referencing. Okay. So let me just take a break. I just need to take a drink of water. Okay, just hold on. Okay, so in cell C2, use the function to count the number of trips to the destination where the value of the decode column matches the contents of cell 2. So what they saying? They saying count all Bahamas in here. Count all the countries here, yeah, but only if they are Bahamas. So you go equals count. This is the if statement. Count all the countries that are in the decode column, but only if they are Bahrain. So there we go. Count all these countries. See there, count all those countries only if only if they are Bahrain. Okay, so they want absolute style referencing, so let's F for that and F for that. Close the brackets and let's see what happens. So in there in the decode column there are only seven Bahraini countries, half Bahamas. And there you go, you replicate the formula. Can you see that? It says that in cell two, use a function to count the number of trips to the destination with, where the value of the decode column matches, value of the decode column matches the name in B7. So what do they want? So count it. Count the number of trips that were made to the Bahamas. Okay, and there you go. They only want you to know the Bahamas. Bahamas. That's why you say if count the number of trips, if the people went to the Bahamas, how many trips were made to the Bahamas? Seven. Okay, so that's quite cool. Replicate this function. So in cell C11, we C11. There it is. Add the total number of days for holidays starting in the month of January. This function must include both absolute and relative cell referencing and must not use a named range. Okay. I haven't told you to create a name range, so we're not going to do it. Okay. Can I have another sub of water quickly? Okay, so in cell C11, we use a function to add the total number of days. So there's a month, can you see there's a month, month nine, is month nine, how many days of that month, how many days of that month were actually people go on holiday with, okay, can you see that, 10 days in the ninth month, what's the ninth month, September, so 10 days of September people went on holidays. People went on holidays for 10 days in September. They're trying to find out which is the most popular month for holidays. So, what is it? What did they say in cell C11? There's C11 equals. So, what we're going to count the number of days people went on holidays if they are in the month of January. So, what's total? So, you go sum if. That's what we're we looking for. So that's your column we're looking at, your reference column. These are all the months, okay? Can you see there? We go up to 12, okay. So 
Are you looking for the man? Is that your reference? January? So they want to know how many days in January people went on holiday. Okay. So in January, how many people went on holiday? you got to eat. Look at the months and if it's January, count the number of days people went on holiday. Okay, so we can have the style references. So let's style references. We're going to style reference this one, yeah? F4, you can style reference that one, F4, and if you want to, you can do this one, F4, and that one, F4. Close your brackets and press enter. So in January, for the month of January, 28, all 28 days, people went on holidays. And you can just pull it down here and have a look. Can you see there? Month of January, 28 trips were taken. In February, 31 trips were taken. May is the best so far. Oh, no, it's November is the best. Can you see there? So it's some if. They actually tell you what it is. In cell C11, C11, use the function to either add the total number of days using the duration column. See there. For holiday starting in the month of January. So we know that's our reference point. That's your B11. Duration is that last part there. The function must include both absolute and things. So we're going to use the month. See, we're going to use the month. Okay, column there. Our reference point is month code, and the duration is the last bit. You get it? And that's what that's what our formula was about. Okay, and then you must replicate it. Set the page orientation to landscape. Go to page layout. Go to orientation landscape. Save the data model and print a copy of cells A1 to C22 only. So they want to print out A1 to C22 only. Okay, do you see what I mean? Showing the formulas used. Okay, so you go to formulas and show formulas. Okay, show formulas. Can you see that? Make sure your formulas are showing. Okay. Just make sure they're all showing. Can you see what I did? Then you go to file. And you go to print preview. Your name's already been put at the bottom. Okay. And you can go print. Okay. Print preview. You can see all the formulas. And you click print. Okay. And there it is. So that's what they wanted you to do for that one. Okay. Let's go like that. Hide formulas. Make it a bit smaller. What's the next one? Okay. So it says make sure that your name can and number and center number printed at the footer of the page. We did that. Format only the cells in row 1, 10, and 24. Cells 1, 10, and 24. So these are headings. Okay. So, I like that. What Mr. Plum is telling me to be center lined. So you go to home and click on center lined. Okay, there they are. 1, 10, and 24. Center lined and 24. Okay, center line. So there they go. And that's center line. Format only cells in row 1, 10, and 20 for the bold and italics. Oh my goodness, why don't they tell me that all together? Okay, so let's see if I can do it like this. I like this. You highlight it, you hold down control. Okay, you highlight it, hold down control. You're still holding down control. And you do it all together, I tell it. 
and they all go like that, okay? So you highlight it, A1, highlight it, hold down control, highlight 10, still holding down control, and highlight 24, still holding control, and you do what they want you to do. Okay, set the page orientation to portrait. Can you see that? That's what you want to do. Set the page and save the data model and print all the sheets showing the values. Make sure that the contents of all cells are visible and the printout is one page wide. Not long, wide. Okay, so wide. There it is. Everything's there. Can we see everything? All the headings. Yeah, looks good. You go there. File, print. Let's go look at print preview. That's portrait. It's again all the way down. Yes, it's not going to other pages. You could go to any page setup. You can go fit. Can you see there? Page setup, I went there. My name and everything is in the footer. You can see it there. And you go OK. Let's zoom, see what happens. And you go click on print. Okay. So that's quite cool. Okay. So where are we? Hydra is 1, 2, 23. So all you do is you click on 1. Hold on. down con just highlight those one to twenty three can you see there one to twenty three right click on it oh my goodness just hold on bear with me my mouse is not working too good. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? 1, 2, 23. Right click. Right click on the numbers there and go hide. Can you see that? And there it is, okay? And then it says hide columns A, B, and C. Okay? You click on the columns. Remember, you click on the numbers there to hide it. You click on the columns to hide it. And it says you must hide columns A, B, and C. Okay. Interrogate the data to find all the bookings where the country is Egypt and the discount is there. So that's quite easy. Click on yeah. Okay. Go to home. Go to sort and filter. You filter it. Down here. Yeah. And click that. Where the country is Egypt. Where the country is Egypt, so we're interrogating the data. Where the country is Egypt, and the discount is yes. And you go there. And you click yes. And you go OK. And there it is. Print this data. OK. Let's go good luck. make it bigger so you can see what you're printing. Remember what we said? All labor. Labels and data must be in full. You can file, print, print preview, make sure your name's at the bottom there, and you print it. Okay. That's all you have to do. Okay, print preview. Okay. Make sure that you're, okay, make sure that you're, yep, we've done that. Okay. That's it. That's this exam. Okay.